All right, and welcome to day three of the argument lesson. This is for our argument meeting that we're doing. I apologize, guys, I got something going on off screen. Uh, teaching point. Today's teaching point. Students will be in the process of selecting the subtopics for their argument paper. Objective. Begin research by finding repeating information on their selected topic for a new form of transportation. So you guys are going to be looking for two or three positive subtopics on your main topic and one of your negative subtopics. I'll hold this here for a second so you guys can look this over. This whole Google folder will be shared with you guys. Uh, this information should look familiar because I went over this earlier in the year. I don't know if I showed all four of the classes this, but the main topic, hyenas, I gave an example on this. And you see some other examples in the Google folder about looking at it. So the main topic of my make-believe paper is hyenas. These are repeating information I found, repeating information subtopics. So you'll notice the subtopics will match with at least one of the paragraphs I'm going to have in this make-believe paper. Here are my subtopics. They become the main theme of each of my paragraphs. So guys, this is a step-by-step -step process. Don't panic. Don't freak out. Ask me questions. A lot of you guys are good about that, either in Zoom or on a discussion paper. I apologize. I can't always get back to you guys, um, but make sure you guys are asking questions. The main subject of, or I should say category of the argument is the new form of transportation. Uh, air pollution has gone down since not many people were driving, so what are some possible choices? Do we keep cars? Do we switch over to electric cars? Or some people are talking, bring back horses. Obviously, you don't hear any politicians talking about it, but we used to use horses on Steinville. So remember, guys, you're looking for pro, positive information on your topic. You should find at least one negative thing on your topic. Remember, a good debater, a good arguer defends their topic by acknowledging or saying, yeah, I know there's a flaw with this, but this is the best choice. Uh, I'm going to go through a demo of what you guys should have. I'm going to stick with the one I did yesterday of horses so you guys can see what I'm asking you to do. This is important, guys. On your own, part one. There are several parts. Don't just skip through the video. Like, Please look through this. Look through the slides when you get the link posted to you. With your websites, guys, make sure you're going to valid websites. Don't go to Wikipedia. Don't go to joeschmo.com. Find a real website that you can use, like a newspaper, a magazine article, a Discovery Channel. I will provide links for you guys that you can use, but if you want to find something on your own, make it something that you can present to me later. And give me where you got your information from. This is important. This is part two. There's still more parts to go. What I'm asking you guys to do in this video is not do today the airing of the video, April 9th. It's going to be due later. So take your time. I know this is a lot, so I'm not making this due in one day. And then this is just me repeating information just to emphasize the point. Part three. So guys, your due date is going to be April 21st. Uh, hopefully the school has said something, but we do have our spring break. So this will be the Tuesday after spring break. I want to have time to conference with students, either through Zoom or some other video chat, or you guys can message me on PowerSchool or Class Dojo, so that way you feel comfortable about this assignment. And guys, we're going to have the Google folder I'm going to share with you. And remember, you're, you should have picked already one of these three topics you're going to talk about. So there's going to be a lot in the video here. I'm going to try and go through it pretty quickly and not waste too much time. Zoom seems to be working pretty fast today, but I might have just spoken too soon, so I'm going to knock on my wooden desk. And what I just clicked on should be the resources page. So we wait for it to load. Uh, again, guys, you do not have to look for your own resource. You do not have to pick these. Excuse me. And it says right here when I'm moving the mouse over. You can find your own websites, but you're going to have to eventually show where you got this information from. And then I wrote down the list in each category. So these are sites I found that you guys can use. If you want to use them, use them. If you've already found some websites, already use those. But make sure you have a lot. You should probably have at least one different website per subtopic or paragraph. So that way you guys can show you really did your research for this.
And then I'm just gonna just really quickly go over some examples of what we'll be doing. So again, this should look familiar to you guys. Uh, I've shown this to you before and we did the argument unit earlier in the year. And then this is just me going back to it. Like I said, we're working from home, this is new. So I want you to pick like a familiar topic that while it's been a while, it wasn't two months ago, but it's something that you guys should know. So here's my hyena example from before. And again, this whole Google folder will be shared if you have all these documents. So just, again, like this is a reference for you guys. So you can do your best. I'm just gonna close this. I'm just gonna go to this essay outline really quick just because I know I definitely showed you this one. This is from when you were doing the first research project and I gave you guys the list of like outer space, uh, atomic bombs, uh, diseases, like history of diseases. Uh, I know <laughs> we're in the uh, coronavirus pandemic, so I don't know what we would call that, but it's interesting now that that was one of the topics. So here is a basic outline, I think I showed you guys this, and then I'm just waiting for it to just let me scroll down. There we go. And then Zoom is just eating up my uh, computer speed here. So if you guys remember this, take notice that I'm asking you to find information and to find use of supporting details. Here we go. So hopefully the rest of this is gonna load. And this should look familiar. This is about GMOs. This was my demo for the research project a couple months ago and how it should have looked. So this is what we're going to do over the next couple of days. And I'll show you what I mean in a sec. So here's the online work. Blank. For you guys. And it looks more or less the same as I've done the last couple of days, just to make this format consistent for you guys. So, you know, I have the table set up, you know, the boxes, boxes, you know, where to the table, where everything is. Uh, take note of the fact, guys, that the work is due by 11.59 p.m. on April 21st. That's after spring break, so you guys aren't panicking. I um, didn't have the vocabulary words when I started making this video. I'm shooting the video right now, so when it's on YouTube, it will be put here. I put the discussion link here already. There's no reading today, guys, because you're doing the research project. And just really quick, we're gonna go to the demo sheet. So this is what you guys are gonna fill out. And it's moving fast, so that's good. And just what I want to emphasize with you guys to make clear is that this will be due after spring break. So we're going to together. So I'm continuing my demo from what would be yesterday. Work, I picked horses just for the demo. I'm not picking a different topic just because um, we're not in the building. We're not all together in a building. So I want to try and make this consistent for you guys. So I'm just going to use horses. Uh, this goes without saying, guys, don't copy what I did do your own work, do something that you'll be proud of. If you're just gonna copy my work and it pick horses, then I'm gonna fail you guys. It's that simple. So like I said in my last video, I cheated. I looked up stuff on horses already just to make this quick. So my first subtopic is gonna be, and uh, horses are all over the country. So I don't know if you guys can hear me type it up. I just type it up, I'm just waiting for this to show up. And then I know it's probably gonna be spelled wrong because it's uh, the lag here, but I don't know. All right, my second subtopics, remember this is repeating information. I went through my resources and I went through these websites and these is, this is repeating information I kept finding. Mm.
so I'm just correcting my typing here. Uh, I'm just trying to focus. I know I'm not talking for a little bit, just so that way I keep an eye on um, my spelling here. So horses eat grass and drink water. They do not produce as much pollution as gasoline does. I'll let you guys use your imagination what I mean by pollution. Um, a negative is that horses get tired and cannot go as far. As far as a car can in a single journey. Cars just wear out. They get tired, they get exhausted. You know, they need brakes. Like we can't run all the time either, so that's bad for us. So there's my negative because I have to defend and say why horses are good or bad. So another thing I noticed is that we have plenty of people in the country who can train the average person in taking care of and riding and riding a horse. So those are equestrians. And that was from one of my resources here. And then a last uh, other negative, just for purposes of mentioning what I did before. Oop, wrong spot. So I'm not gonna do all six just because I know this video is going a little long. So another negative is that we don't have stop stations for horses. We have gas stations, but we don't have stop stations for horses. Like where are these horses gonna stop? The fields? Horses eat a lot. They eat a lot. Uh, I'll go over supporting details probably maybe after spring break where I'll explain my supporting details, but this video is pretty long already. So I just want you guys getting your subtopics down and then we'll go over supporting details, I think at a different point, but here's what I have. Uh, thanks for guys for stopping by. Please make sure you watch this video. I know it's long, I apologize, but I wanna make sure I covered everything. Uh, I'll link it up for you guys in the morning. Hopefully you guys have watched this video before Zoom. Uh, thanks for stopping by again and I'll talk to you guys later.